The New York Times reports the Somali government is preparing a major offensive to dislodge al-Shabaab rebels from the capital of Mogadishu with the surreptitious help of the United States. General Mohamed Gele Kahie, the new chief of Somalia's military, says he recently shared plans about coming military operations with American advisors. Referring to a surveillance plane circling overhead in the area, Kahie said, quote, it's the Americans, they're helping us. An unnamed U.S. official told the Times, quote, what you are likely to see is airstrikes and special ops moving in, hitting and getting out. Washington has provided covert training to Somali intelligence officers, logistical support to peacekeepers, fuel for the maneuvers, intelligence on fighters' positions, and money for bullets and guns. The New York Times report also says that Washington is using its clout as the biggest supplier of humanitarian aid to Somalia to encourage private aid agencies to move quickly into newly liberated areas to help civilians in an effort to make the government more popular. Al-Shabaab controls much of Somalia and operates openly in Mogadishu, confining the forces of the government and African Union peacekeepers to a few blocks within the city. The group wants to topple the government and impose its own strict version of Sharia, Islamic law. U.S. military intervention in Somalia in the early 1990s, commanding a major international relief operation, ended in disaster when the U.N. force became drawn into fighting with local commanders.